<laughs> I know. Fourth episode. Oh my God, we've had so much fun. I'm I'm really excited about today's show, but why don't we show a clip about last week's show? Absolutely. Let's go. And then throw a straw in there. Oh, oh wow. Party. Oh. Now that's paying attention to details. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. Isn't that, that fun? Is and it's so easy and it costs nothing. Really. Right. Just some stuff you might have in the fridge or maybe what you're growing in mm -hmm. the garden. Cucumbers mm -hmm. are so refreshing with water. Really good with the blueberry infused water. Um, so stick some of those in there and add in your flowers for fun. I mean, it, you're going to make your guests feel so special. Mm -hmm. And it really didn't take that much effort. You know, just recently we had somebody submit a video on flower focused meditations. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, you think about gardening and floristry and cooking with flowers. And then just when you think you know everything there is to know about flowers, you see that there's a layer deeper you can go. Um, you know, for us, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing because the whole vision behind Bloom TV is restoring Eden from the inside out. So how are we, we connecting um, uh, to the planet and to each other through this this beauty and this beautiful frequency of the flower and how are we bringing that to other people? Oh, oh <laughs> that big episode was incredible. Look what I have here, Ooh, right there. Oh, wow. I have my ice, my floral ice cubes. Oh, I love that. What is the pink one in there? What flower is that? It's a snapdragon. It oh, has really? a, it's a pink snapdragon. Oh, here. It's a pink <laughs> snapdragon and a yellow snapdragon. Oh, wow. On a, my snapdragons are blooming right now. I need to do that. <laughs> you have to do this. <laughs> you have well, so many flowers. I'm excited. I Let me tell you, last week when you were talking about Nigeria, I mean, I had seen it, but I had never really paid attention. So this week I was buying my flowers at the wholesaler and uh -huh. look, I made a flower <gasps> arrangement oh! with Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> this, this is Nigeria, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh Such wow! A beautiful yeah, flower. About that on last week's show, because like that's a flower. It's taken me eight months to even grow that flower. So last last week's show, I talked about how I sprinkled the seeds in the ground last September, and it's just now blooming in my garden. Well, it's <laughs> worth waiting because it's really interesting. Absolutely. <laughs> a lot of people are tuning in, so I think we should start. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the fourth episode of Flowers and Friends. We've had a great show so far. Our audience keeps growing, and our love for flowers, well, it's increasing drastically. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So on today's show, we actually have three Bloom TV experts joining us, three guests, two of which will be sharing recipes and tinctures using edible flowers and herbs that will have us feeling fantastic for summer. But that's not all. We are also going to have Jenny Thomason, who is a speaker and author, and she's going to be telling us about her book, Perishable Poetics. <laughs> I'm so excited. Why don't we show them the intro video? Let's go. excited please be sure to stick around until the end because we're going to be announcing the winner of our big giveaway this is definitely a show you have to watch absolutely there's a lot of really interesting things in the giveaway and one of them is the book perishable poetics that we are going to be learning about today there is also a whole flower tea and ritual set and a subscription to bloomtvnetwork.com. While we're here, I also thought it may be a good idea to kind of tell you guys about how you can subscribe to Bloom TV Network. You just go to bloomtvnetwork.com 
and you hit subscribe and we actually have a discount uh, for you guys for anyone that is watching this show it's flowers and friends and that will get you 10 percent off and i have to tell you guys it's so bloom tv is a great platform everything there is to know about flowers and even more Really, mm. it's yes. much more than you could have ever imagined. And every week we're bringing in different experts because we want to give you the opportunity to get to know them, get you excited. So you go subscribe because there are so many videos you cannot stop watching. It just it just gives you a really good feeling when you watch a lot of these videos. You just feel calm. You feel a lot of joy because um, you're around nature. <laughs> <laughs> to, yes. it is, and it's inspiration and you're like oh I can do that that would mm -hmm. be so fun to try it out and then your life is like so happy so joyful yeah. because everything's more joyful with flowers absolutely you know on our Instagram page uh flowers and friends official last week we had Holly Capelli and she showed us how to make floral ice and we had someone submit how they made floral ice too. <laughs> so it's been fun seeing people get inspired through the guests that are coming on the show. Just, you know, do something for themselves. And please, just like that person did, be sure to tag us whenever you're doing anything that inspires you from watching this show, because we really want to see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it motivates others. And it's so important to be a good motivator in other people's lives. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Anna, we have a big show today. We have a big show. So let's and we see. have a lot of people that yes. <laughs> are connected. Why don't we start by bringing in Bridget Molloy from Bridget's Botanical. Hi, Bridget. Hi there. Thanks so much for having me. I'm super excited. We are super Welcome. excited to Welcome. have you here with us. Welcome, Bridget. All right, next on our show today, we have Miss Carrie Luce. Carrie, welcome. Hi, guys. It's a blessing to be here. Thank you. Hi, Hi. Carrie. Hello. We're so excited. Also, our, our next guest for today is Jenny Thomason. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. So glad to see you. Hi, welcome, Jenny. Welcome. Wow, it's it's amazing how Bloom TV has brought together um, all of us here, and we all have different areas in flowers that you know that we love and that we love to talk about. How are you guys feeling? I see Carrie that you have a beautiful painting right behind you, and you were talking to us about it. Why don't you show it to our audience? Sure, I would love to show you. I was so inspired by Dion's painting videos last week. Ran out to the store and I was like, I need to get my hands in paint and paint some flowers. So this is a bird of paradise. I love tropical flowers and colors so much. So it's just so amazing getting inspired by my fellow birds and doing something creative that feels great. So thank you guys. Guys, I had to pop in because Carrie, you're over here making my heart go pitter patter with bird of paradise. My goodness, you must have a lot of inspiration around you where you live. Am I right? Yes, I've spent four months in Costa Rica and I live part of Florida as well. So I'm just a tropical girl. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that. I'm so glad to know you're inspired. I just had to pop in and say hello. That is extraordinary. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Thank you. That's a beautiful painting. So, Jenny, your book, I have a copy right here. I'm so excited. We're going to be telling you guys about it later on. But the giveaway, this is one of the gifts, and it's a beautiful gift. We're going to be announcing the winner later on the show, so please stay around. Yes. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to get into our first guest. Our first guest, Anna, you want to tell everybody who our guest is? Yes, hi, Carrie. Carrie is a fitness trainer, nourishment counselor, and clean lifestyle assistant, as well as an expert on Bloom TV. On Bloom TV, you will find Carrie in the kitchen, whipping up healthy and tasty flour infused treats that not only taste good, but will leave you feeling really good too. So, why don't we show them the video? 
next up goes a cup of frozen cherries, which are very anti-inflammatory, great for your blood and muscles. We know that because of that rich dark red color. And then we have our packet of Amazonian acai puree. This is so nutrient dense, so many antioxidants, and it's a just magical, powerful berry. And then we'll top it off with a cup or two of water to achieve the most perfect, cool consistency. Sprinkling it off with hemp seeds, fresh raspberries, and of course, the orchids, violas, and sunflower petals. Wow, welcome, Carrie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So when I think of the phrase pampering myself, I think of doing something good for you that feels amazing for your mind, body, and soul. Flowers have tons of pharmacological and cosmetic benefits. For the mind, the aromatherapy is uplifting and relaxing. The smell of flowers even lowers the stress hormone all in your body. For your physical body, Flowers have antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. And for our soul, just being in the sheer presence of beautiful, colorful flowers helps connect us with the healing powers of Mother Earth. I'm obsessed with natural skincare. What you put inside your body and outside of your body really has a huge impact on your energy and overall well being. So today, we're going to talk about how important the skin is. It's such a big organ. It's our protective organ. And two things that it loves the most are hydration and moisture. So starting mm -hmm. off pampering ourselves in the hydration factor with my lilac and cucumber spa water. Mm, so, yum. <laughs> yeah, I'm so inspired by the floral ice cubes. I'm definitely going to need to add some of those in here next week. But lilacs are actually edible. Not only do they smell amazing, you can see this beautiful purple color helps connect us to the divine. That purple color also tells us that there's this antioxidant called anthocyanin in there that's also found in blueberries. But my favorite thing about lilacs is that intoxicatingly sweet, seductive, perfumey scent. And that just is going to perfume the water perfectly. So I actually got these lilacs from my sister's house this morning. So if you have some in your yard or maybe at your neighbor's house, just clip some off. You can shake them out, maybe rinse them underwater and just add this into your fun glass or your pitcher. So we're just popping the lilacs in. And like I said, that's just going to perfume that water perfectly. And I'm also going to be adding some cucumbers in with my lilac spa water to take down that perfumey level, maybe just a little bit, add some green herbaceousness and that cooling, refreshing thing that we all love about cucumbers. Not only is it going to add to the hydration, but cucumbers also have vitamin K. They have vitamin B6, which is folic acid. So we're really going to do a number on the inside, too, when we drink this perfumed lilac and cucumber spa water. And honestly, it tastes exactly like how it smells, so you know it's going to be great. So we have hydration covered for our skin, which yeah. me into Yummy. moisturizing. <laughs> so we're going to moisturize our skin with my homemade honey and chamomile clay mask. So Ooh. this... Homemade mask has only four ingredients, three of which are totally supercharged with flower power. Everything is all natural and organic. Again, just making sure we are putting on our skin the most wonderful botanical products that are healthy from within. So we're going to start off the mask with this wildflower honey. Of course, wildflower honey comes from bees that have pollinated wildflowers. You can also use Manuka honey. This honey is super dark. The darker the wildflower honey, it usually means there's more pollen and minerals in there. So I know my skin is going to love all of these active bio compounds in here. So we're going to just put a teaspoon of honey in here, which I already have. And then leading me into our second ingredient, 
we have organic rosehip oil. So rosehip is kind of a mainstream bath and beauty product. You are probably familiar with it. You may have it in some items in your own home already, but it is actually cold pressed from the seeds of the fruit of the wild rose bush. And I have dried rose hips right here that you can see they're just these really cute little red berries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And rose hips completely prized for its high vitamin C content. That's going to help reduce fine lines and wrinkles, help even skin tone. But my favorite benefit is that it helps pr uh, protect us from environmental toxins and pollutants. So we're just going to add a little dropper full in here. You can see it's this gorgeous dark orange color. It's about a quarter teaspoon. Rosehip oil also has the antioxidant lycopene. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, oh, here we go. Oh, okay. You're back. Okay, awesome. We're there with you. There we yeah. go. <laughs> You're back. No, okay. You're going. Okay, no problem. She'll be Technology. back. Technology. <laughs> yes, that happens. It happens. That's life, and it we happens. don't stress about it. <laughs> we can bring her back on to finish the segment. We'll yes. let her maybe reboot uh, her setup. That, so I did not realize that the darker the honey, the more nutrients are in the honey. Okay. All right. So I, I need to look for this when I'm going to make my floral face mask. <laughs> I, I know. And it's so exciting to learn that how we can do things for our skin that are actually natural. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So Carrie has um, several uh, videos on Bloom TV about health and wellness and how you can do similar things to what she was just showing us in the video right here. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Next up goes a cup of frozen cherries, which are very anti-inflammatory, great for your blood and muscles. We know that because of that rich dark red color. And then we have our packet of Amazonian acai puree. This is so nutrient dense, so many antioxidants, and it's a just magical, powerful berry. And then we'll top it off with a cup or two of water to achieve the most perfect, cool consistency. Sprinkling it off with hemp seeds, fresh raspberries, and of course, the orchids, violas, and sunflower petals. I have a comment I would really like to share with our audience. I love uh -huh. this from Hermosillo. They're writing, it's incredible how flowers is not only a piece of decor and also they relax their infusions and a delicate touch in a special plate or elegant dessert. Excellent show. Congratulations. Thank wow. you so much, Magdalena. <laughs> That's beautiful. What a sweet, sweet oh. comment. We love, we love that you are loving the show right here. Uh, let's see, we have Morales Garden, hello. We have Greta Young, hello there. <laughs> we have Angelica, well, there are several people on the show with us today. Thank you all for being here so very much. We still have a jam-packed show with two additional experts that we are going to be talking to. Real quick, we thought we would let you know how to join and watch all the wonderful videos on Bloom TV Network again. Anna, you want to tell them how they can do that? Yes, you go to bloomtvnetwork.com and then you click on, it's so easy. You just enter Bloom TV, you subscribe, and we have a code that you can get 10% off by writing flowers, flower friends. It's amazing. Once you're in Bloom TV, you have more than 300 videos to watch. You have all these different experts. We have over a hundred and we have them in Spanish, in English. It's it's great to see all the content <laughs> we have up there. Yes, yes. We have over 100 experts right now. So there's really a lot of content to consume on there. And on so many different topics. That's the yes. most exciting part. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, speaking of Bloom TV experts, next we are going to see Bridget Malloy. We're going to have her here. Hello, Bridget. Hello, Bridget. Hey, Hello. 
Bridget has studied molecular biology, pharmacology, and herbalism around the world. Thus, she has developed a strong drive to connect people to our planet and to the medicinal properties of plants. As a lifelong scientist and science educator, one of Bridget's many passions is teaching about the health benefits of herbs for our health. She's a Bloom TV expert, and she has videos that cover many health benefits of the flowers and herbs have to offer. Bridget, welcome to our show today. Yes, thank you. Welcome. We have a short video to share with you found that there are a variety of plants that you can actually use to enhance those areas and support yourself. One of our herbs is rose. So we're going to talk about the amazingness and the history of rose and that it is one of those top love herbs. We also have chamomile, antispasmodic, lavender, excellent sleep aid and stress reducer, linden, is your best friend for anxiety. Wow, I've never even heard of Linden before. <laughs> I'm so I love excited it. to see what you're going to share with us today. Yes, well, so we're going to look at some different flowers that actually are great for pampering your feet because, of course, as Carrie said, to kind of reiterate that, Anything that you're putting on your skin actually is absorbed in your body. So I like to consider whatever you're putting on yourself, it actually is food for your body. So we're going to look at that and a couple of other fun things like we can actually use, make the same thing for a tea and explore five of my favorite herbs today, including rose. So you'll get to hear a little bit more about rose because that's my favorite. <laughs> Thank All you. right. So overall, when we're trying to relax and pamper ourselves, herbs are absolutely such a support system. So a lot of people, of course, like having gardens, having flowers, but if you actually also incorporate herbs into your daily lifestyle internally, it can also impact your physiology. So that pharmacological aspect of it, there's all these workings with plants within your body as you use them, both inside and out. So, a couple that I wanted to share with you guys today. This one is calendula. So, calendula is a great one. It actually grows in gardens super well. And it is a fantastic one that is good for skin health. So, you can use it for facial steams, foot baths. Also, internally, it's very soothing to the gut. So if anybody has any um, gut health issues, this is a really great herbal ally for you. So again, that inside and out theme is here. So I'm going to actually start off with getting a knife. I have some hot water. So we're going to pick out a bowl that is big enough that your feet can fit into. So fill that bowl right on up, almost to the top, but... Don't forget you're gonna put your feet in it so you don't want it to overflow. Mm -hmm. So you'll put hot water in there. Um, I like to do like a spoonful or so. This is my scoop, so a scoopful. Kind of sprinkle it on in there of each of my plants. And this other one, you can't quite tell, but it is powdered yarrow. So yarrow is another wonderful herb that grows all over the US, all over Europe. It is fantastic. I'm gonna put a spoonful as well in there. It's fantastic for your feet because it actually has antibacterial properties. It's actually useful as well if you ever have bleeding, get cut, if you're an outdoors person, you get a scratch, you can find yarrow. And the white flowers is actually what you're using. And that actually helps to slow bleeding. Kind of cool. So wow. if you ever nick <laughs> So if you ever like nick your foot or have sore feet or anything like that or blisters, this foot bath is going to actually be really helpful to utilize that yarrow flower. The leaf and stem are also fantastic. So you can actually use the whole plant. I have some growing in my backyard, mm -hmm. which is exciting. So you can also, it grows super easily. Um, but again, that white variety is the one that you would like to, that you should use for your foot bath. Okay, interesting. My next favorite 
as you saw from my other video. I love rose. So here's some rose petals. You can use fresh rose petals or you could use dried. The fresh rose petals, you want to make sure that you're using one from a garden or somewhere that you know. A lot of the grocery stores, actually, they have chemicals on them. So you don't really want to eat that, right? Because I said you could actually drink your foot bath if you want to. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> oh, yeah. So let's see. I'm just mixing this up. I have a blend of pink rose petals and red rose petals. So these have <clears throat> antioxidant properties, flavonoids. Vitamin C, you have all sorts of stuff that is really great in terms of skin health and internal health. So we're going to actually kind of let this steep for a while. I'm going to give it a nice little stir. So I did about three tablespoons, um, maybe five, because I definitely, I like to over pour on my herbs always. But you can see the water is turning a nice, very pale yellow. Hopefully you can see that. But you'll tell, and it's just so gorgeous. And this foot pampering, it's so important, you guys. Everyone's standing up for work oftentimes, walking around, exercising, lifting heavy things. Maybe you're working at the desk. Your feet actually need some good circulation and love. So doing a foot pampering can actually really help to center and calm your body helps to prevent um, stress and also alleviate stress, helps with sore muscles. There's different flowers that you can use for sore muscles too, by the way. Um, and it's really just such a nice, gorgeous, I want to like show you guys, but it's kind of nice. <laughs> I, <did that. laughs> I love it. Uh, oh, it's so good. And you can just smell the delightful, like mm -hmm. floral hues. So again, that aromatherapy too, just like Carrie mentioned, scent. That aromatherapy mm -hmm. can immediately start to reduce mm -hmm. that cortisol level. This so. is so exciting to learn because you have no idea how many people write to me, florists mostly asking mm -hmm. like, I my feet hurt so much at the end of a work day because mm -hmm. florists tend to be standing up for long hours, especially mm -hmm. on the weekends. So this is actually something that I'm going to start recommending everyone. I can't wait to try it myself, but this looks incredible it does I, I have a question how often should you be doing a foot soak so i would suggest every week think okay. about it like um it's your weekly massage weekly relaxation i think it really helps not only relax those muscles and repair mm -hmm. the skin helps again with any if you're like a foot foot bare what is it called barefoot <laughs> And running uh -huh. around in the, in the flowers in your garden um mm -hmm. it's going to really help to nourish your feet um so i would do weekly but if mm -hmm. you are honestly like getting tired a foot bath is a great way to not only relax you but also help you feel a little bit more refreshed mm -hmm. so you're ready to go for that next day you feel replenished you feel mm -hmm. alive and nourished because these plants Herbs are the best, you guys. Flowers right. and herbs galore. So you can do a little meditation with it even and kind of sit and think about what intention that you have for the week. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a nice ritual practice to do. Yeah. That is so, so beautiful. How long have you been practicing herbalism? Oh, my gosh. Um, let's see. Unofficially for 30 years. <laughs> wow. I I grew up with an herb garden. My mom always, we were always drinking herbal tea. I was learning about what herbs are used for, um, mm -hmm. officially for about 16 years. So quite, quite a while. It's been a really fun journey and I keep learning more. There's like no end. It's amazing. Yeah, that's why listening to you with all that confidence and how you're transmitting everything, it's like, I, I want to try it. When I watch your videos on Bloom TV, I mean, it's always like, you are so amazing. You are so peaceful. You are so confident. It's like, I want to do that. I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and you and can try this. It's so easy because all three of these flowers, the calendula flower, yarrow, rose, all of those are so easy to grow or you can mm -hmm. find them in gardens. So it really is just such an easy way to get started to 
improve your well-being and help reduce stress levels. And again, don't forget, you can drink this. <laughs> Make sure you drain it first or else you'll have little flower bits in your teeth. But you can also drink some of your foot bath beforehand. Before. <laughs> oh. Don't forget beforehand. So I have my little cup. You can go ahead. I think it's done right now. So can scoop some up. I'm not going to strain it. And it's actually very nice. Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bridget. Scoop them out. Yep, go ahead. Are there certain flowers or herbs that you would recommend for women that would be great for women's health? Yes. Um, going back to roses, this is one of my herbal allies that I've worked with very closely for about five years um, after I did a retreat study in Ireland at one of the herb schools I have been to. So Rose is really great for your reproductive organs. It mm -hmm. has an affinity to the uterus um, and helps to tone those tissues. Mm -hmm. So not only that, but also from a trauma perspective, um, roses are really strong. And they, if you meditate with them and think about flowers opening and becoming vulnerable and sharing, but yet you have this stem that has it finds it you know, little prickles, um, that's your boundaries. Mm -hmm. So it's a really, I think it's a really good energetic herb for that reason, but then also really great for reproductive health too. Oh, so yeah. that's one of my favorite women's health flowers. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other herbs that are great for women's health, but flower wise, I think the rose is just among my favorites. Why? <laughs> that's, so interesting. Why don't you tell our viewers why, what they can see on your videos on Bloom TV? Absolutely. So some of the videos highlight, you know, what can you do? What kinds of herbs can you use and flowers specific to cramps, fertility, um, sex drive even. So all these different areas of support. Um, so that's mainly what I talk about on my videos is what can you use to help that vibrancy of well-being for these different stages of women's health? So that is what I talk about on my videos. I hope you guys get a chance to see them. Yes, yes. Bridget, <laughs> thank you so much. You know, I'm really excited that you showed these three flowers because I actually am growing all three of these flowers in my gardens. <laughs> awesome. I did have a question though. So you mentioned the white yarrow is the best to use. So I have a lot of pinks and stuff. Does the color, uh, does it make a big difference with color? I'd love to know more about the white yarrow. Yeah, so the white yarrow is very specific um, because there's actually a compound, which is like a little, it's a chemical basically, mm -hmm. um, that helps with that bleeding. So mm -hmm. it actually impacts platelet coagulation. So mm -hmm. think about like if you accidentally cut yourself and then you have a little bit of bleeding happening, um, it actually instigates those platelets to come together and start helping with clotting up the blood. Um, now that is specific to injuries and that white flower actually has that compound. It's not present in the other ones. Um, however, with pink varieties, you can still use those medicinally for like bitters, for example, if you're looking at making cocktail bitters and or um, a digestive health tea, or you could also use the little greens in salad as well. Mm -hmm. and kind of eat those. Really? So yeah, good question. There, there's a lot of detail about different herbs, especially if you're looking at the use for them with health. Wow. wow. Okay. Wow. I have so much to say. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. This is Absolutely. great information to know. Wow. And mm -hmm. and as we were telling you, you need to go look at her videos because they are incredible. Everything Bridget shares with us is amazing. Yes. Wow. Thank, you. Thank you so much, Bridget. Thank you so much. You. Absolutely. <laughs> So All right, Anna. Wow. We have Jenny Thomason that is going to be joining us next on our show. Hello, Jenny. Hello there. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Hello. We are, we are just 
having so much flower fun right now. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so inspired by the first two ladies. I'm gonna definitely be making some infused water uh -huh. and I am definitely gonna be using the roses that are in my garden to do some sort of soap or something. It sounds divine. So thank you to both of you. Yes. Yes, me too. Well, Jenny, Jenny is an accredited member of the American Institute of Floral Designers. She's a professional floral communicator international and EMC, which is European Master Certification. She is a touring commenter for the education specialist team for Teleflora. Wow. She is a featured designer in industry publications, networks, and podcasts. She is also an industry um, leader, and she is a lead instructor for the Dr. Delphinium Design Institute in Dallas, Texas, and a sole proprietor for Jenny T. Floristry. And if that weren't enough, that's pretty amazing right there. She is also a published author of her own book, Perishable Poetics. <laughs> there it is on the screen right there. And she is here to talk with us about her book today. Welcome, Jenny. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for having me. And thank you to everyone who's tuning in and watching. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I can't wait to see what people ask. So please ask away. Uh, but a little bit uh, about me for the channel here on Bloom TV. You're going to see a lot of my conversations with you about creativity. And that's really what my book's about, too. Uh, I always talk about creating unapologetically, like just create to create. People say I can't make flowers, but we're all creative. We all can make flowers mm -hmm. and we all have our own unique voice to us. I really have been playing with flowers since I was a kid mm -hmm. and I started a flower shop and I've been on this journey, which has just been amazing. And some days I sit back and go, I, I'm doing all of this because of flowers. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> that's remarkable. Like, Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So I love that I can share. So thank you for having me again. But I really love to create structures. So structures is more of, um, it's like a really modern take of an art form with flowers. So like, for instance, I have one here that I'll just like pull up really quick just to show you. But um, creating all of this just out of pieces of wood, how can I make something incredibly unique that you're never going to see before? And I'm probably never going to do it again. Because <laughs> they're only here for a little bit of time. Hence the reason for my book, the title, Perishable Poetics. Mm -hmm. The perishable side is the fact that they are flowers. They're only here for like a super small amount of time. And the poetic side is really my vision of how I can take my emotions and how they can form my creativity into an end composition for a design. So throughout this book, I have put pieces of my own words in it. There are three stages uh, in the book. There's a stage titled I, and then a stage titled you, and then a stage titled us. And it was in a time of my life where I had a lot of things going on. And I just said, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to put it all out on the page, not mm -hmm. only emotionally, Mm -hmm. but also spiritually and then through my creativity. So that's what I did with my book, Perishable Poetics. And the really cool thing I think um, that was added into the book is I have my own sketches from my own hand. So mm -hmm. for instance, like this design here, mm -hmm. um, it's all very structural like I talked about. But the vellum pages that are riddled throughout the book are actually my own sketches with kind of backgrounds of what I was thinking about, how wide it is, how tall it is, what the materials are used. And of course, then there's bits of poetry for every single design. Another one I want to show you, which was a contender for the cover, but the cover was the red, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But this one was a contender. I loved that one. Yes. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I'm, I'm not even afraid to tell people how I used the material. So uh -huh. all of this is a zero graphic Atalantia plant. You guys know those big air plants that are silver that are so popular yes. right now? So I took it apart bit by bit. I took a fruit basket, believe it or not. Um, let's go back here. Let's show you that. It's a metal fruit basket that I cut the foot off of and cut the arms off of, turned it upside down, and then glued the Zeographica back on bit by bit to create this really delicate, layered, protective piece of botanical 
sculpture. Wow. And I've done it throughout the whole book. So mm -hmm. the book yeah, as I was flipping through amazing. Your book, I'm I actually really? thought to myself, is that an air plant? <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's an airplane. And there's things like that all throughout the book. You'll uh -huh. you'll look at different compositions and you'll go, is that wild hyacinth vine? Uh -huh. Well, that's what's on the front cover. Uh -huh. It was harvested and saved. And it, I knew it was going to come in use somewhere. And a lot of things in this project are kind of a little bit of a surprise. But mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy. Yes. It is a beautiful book. I've been enjoying it so much. The poetic part is it's really it's a meditation book. It's not just a regular flower book i mean you get your cup of tea and you start going through the pictures and the arrangements and then the quotes you have there all everything connects so i mean it's a book you need time to or you can take five minutes ten minutes every day and meditate with it i'm really loving it thank you so much and to our viewers please get a copy you're going to love it Maybe we can get the really fast. Can we get the QR code on the screen? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, oh, there. <laughs> I mean, you can get the QR code and you can order the book. Yeah, I would, I would love it if you guys uh, went on. It'll direct you right to my website, jennyt.floristry. You'll see a bunch of other things on there, but it'll take you to the book page. And then if you order it through my website, I will actually have the ability to inscribe it for you so i can sign it and then i can send it out and i'd love to hear your feedback mm, beautiful what do, you, what do you hope people get out of this book i love that question thank you so much for asking that um my real hope that people get out is to just be inspired and to do what i always say to create unapologetically use your own creative voice, put a bit of yourself into your piece. If you're true to that, people will always know that you are 100% authentic. That's beautiful. This makes me want to walk my farm again. Like I do every morning and I walk my gardens and I'm constantly inspired, but this book really makes me look at plants differently now. I'm like, I need to be using maybe this plant in a fruit basket to create this. Like I just love, I love that you are inspiring us to create these different types of floral designs through your book. And it really brings out, you know, emotions in you. Like I, I can think of maybe these vines that I grow and what they mean to me and just turning it into a floral piece that's meaningful. Yeah, absolutely. And then you cherish that 100%. I'm working on a sculpture right now and I couldn't cut the top of the botanical material away. I had to keep it and I've actually displayed it in a vase in the hallway because it does have such emotion to me. We're all drawn to that from kids. Yeah. Right? Flowers bring that out in us. So why not just celebrate it? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Where, like, where do you typically have your uh, designs like this? Like, are they on display at, um, just tell us about them. Sure, yeah. So every single piece in this book is um, gone except for one. It is the nature of perishables, right? So mm -hmm. right. One. Uh, I did keep one structure, but my next book is um, about all dried material and done Ooh. in a contemporary way that we have not seen on the market. And that Ooh. book should be dropping uh, end of June, beginning of July. And so I have all of those pieces. And one day my hope is to have an art gallery opening, but with botanical material. Wow. That is incredible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yes, you're you're, you're going to do a great job because the first book is incredible. Your mm -hmm. art is incredible. Your poetry is incredible in words and in flowers and in the materials you're using. So I'm sure you're going to have a huge success. And I really wish we can go to your presentation to the, <laughs> because you're an amazing person. Oh, mm -hmm. I would love to do a presentation for Bloom TV somehow. Let's figure it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> Let, well, I'm really excited about this dried florals book because I grow a lot of flowers and I dry a lot of them too. And so I'm really excited to now know, because you're so creative, different things that I just haven't even thought of that I could do mm -hmm. with the dried flowers. Yeah, it was um, it was quite a wonderful process, and um, that may be for a bigger discussion, maybe next time we talk, but I, I did unlock some secrets through the second book that I would love to share. 
<laughs> when is Are your you next book signing? Uh -huh. My next book signing is actually going to be at the AIFD Symposium, so American Institute of Floral Designers. That is going to be in Las Vegas this year over Fourth of July weekend. And I'm going to be having a very kind of private book signing, so if anybody's interested, please send me a message. My Instagram is JennyT.Floristry or Facebook, Jenny Thomason AIFD. And I would love to put you on the private list if you guys are going to be in Vegas. But other than that, once my next book drops, I'll be doing a virtual live book signing like I did for my first one. So stay tuned. Wow. Thank you so much. Can't wait to hear all about it. And we wish you the best of luck in the Las, in the Las Vegas Expo. Thank you so much. <laughs> so... We have Carrie back. She was able to, she's here with us. Why don't we keep on going with her presentation? Hey, Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> now, back. We have high winds and some severe thunderstorms rolling through Chicagoland area right now. So I got to think it's due to that. But I think we left off. Was I showing you guys the rose hips? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was talking about rose hip oil. Um, rosehip is very high in the antioxidant lycopene, which is found in tomatoes, but it's most prized for its high vitamin C content, which helps eliminate fine lines and wrinkles, it even skin tone. But what my favorite thing that vitamin C does is it actually helps protect us from environmental pollutants and toxins. So we got our wildflower honey and the rosehip oil in here. I already added in the clay because I didn't know I got cut off, but the third ingredient is natural clay. You can use European or French clay, bentonite clay, but I have something super special. This is blue rainforest clay from Costa Rica. Clay is amazing at drawing out impurities. There's tons of minerals like calcium, magnesium, and iron. And one of the days me, when I was in Costa Rica, me and my friend actually went up this river stream and collected the blue clay that is in the riverbeds ourselves, put it all over our body, let it dry in the sun, and then jumped in the waterfall to clean it off. And let me tell you, I've never slept better. So clay is a powerful, powerful healing compound for our skin. <laughs> Our fourth and final ingredient that really brings the floral fantasia to this moisturizing mass is German chamomile. So there's also Roman chamomile, but I love the German chamomile because it's this beautiful blue color. And this one that I have here is organic and it's already diluted in jojoba oil, which brings in some healthy essential fatty acids, which strengthen and fortifies our skin barrier. Chamomile, though, has been known for hundreds and thousands of years medicinally inside and out due to uh, its flavonoid in chamomile called quercetin, which is a very, very strong anti-inflammatory. So that's where we're getting a lot of those really soothing benefits from the chamomile. So we're going to just add a teaspoon of the clay, and then I put one or two drops of our chamomile, and you're just going to mix this up until it forms a nice paste. And then apply that mask on clean skin for 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes. But what I really want you guys to focus on is when you're doing this face mask is stillness and quietness and peace. Kind of get into a meditative zen state. You can listen to one of the floral meditations on Bloom TV that we've been talking about, or even just go in your backyard or on your porch and listen to the birds sing. But don't forget to grab your floral lilac and cucumber spa water. And of course, grab some of the extra cucumbers that you may have cut up for the water and get those bad boys on your eyes with the mask for <laughs> extra added benefit of the anti-puffiness around the eyes. So just when you're meditating, really take a moment to intentionally breathe and invite in that powerful healing floral spirit into every layer of your being, mind, body, and soul. And when you're done and you're relaxed and you just feel that sense of peace just radiating from within, take a nice, hot, steamy washcloth Get that ready on the side. 
But before you actually do that, take a minute to rub that mask in, get some of the mechanical exfoliation going, and even just that minute or two of intentional self-massage really helps increase circulation, makes your skin nice and plump and dewy. And then grab that hot steamy washcloth and take it off and just definitely be just thankful for all the botanical goodness and beauty that flowers give us inside it. So, yeah, that's my flower powered pampering process. Oh my God, that is absolutely inspiring. I can't wait to have like a uh wellness weekend i mean i want to try everything everything you've been talking about uh, i'm gonna go to can, where can we actually get the clay the clay you can find any natural clay i've bought a ton of different kinds at whole foods or a natural health store even online i wonder i'm sure that you could if you google blue rainforest clay mm -hmm. i'm sure you know, with the way that the world is these days we can get anything online you can check <laughs> but really any natural clay is, is great. And like, oh, I didn't mention this before, but if you don't have clay, you can also blitz up some organic oats and make a really finely ground um, oat flour or oat powder. And that also brings in some benefits if you just don't wanna mess with the clay. Okay. Carrie. Yes. I would love to know, do you have any recommendations for rosacea? For rosacea, well, that is actually something that chamomile would be great for due to the anti-inflammation. But when I was going through this mask, I was also thinking about a couple other things that you could add in here. Um, Camellia is a very soothing flower. Um, evening primrose is also another great flower that's used in skincare. Um, I even thought about maybe adding some turmeric powder for a little bit of brightening maybe even some matcha green powder for a little bit more antioxidants and nourishment. So I definitely think the combinations are endless. That is wow. so good to know. <laughs> Great information. What can we expect from you and your videos on Bloom TV? And, it, and is there anything new coming? Yes, I'm definitely, honestly, even more inspired by all of my fellow experts over the last few months, seeing the website come to life. Mm -hmm. So I have a whole list in my phone. Um, even just that it's springtime now, I'm seeing things pop up in the yard. And I'm like, ooh, that, that. So <laughs> what you can expect from my channel is things that just make you feel good inside and out. Expect lots of colors, lots of superfoods, just a very plant-forward powerful recipes that leave you feeling light and energized and just really charged with all the life source from plants, mushrooms, flowers, herbs, spices, all that good stuff. Wow. I see we have a question here. It says, if you don't have chamomile, could you use a tea bag? Yes, I would definitely say you could use the tea bag if or the florals, uh, the flowers in the tea bag, especially if it's organic, just mm -hmm. make sure it's really like finely ground if you're using the whole uh, dried flower itself. Mm -hmm. um, also kind of saw some recipes that use chamomile tea as a base that maybe you can mix that with just the clay. Uh, I think that you might need to play around with proportions, but I think it would be super fun to mix the clay with just chamomile tea and put mm -hmm. that in the face. So I think I need to try that later. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's nice. Carrie, thank you so much. I'm so glad that we got you back on and we got to see the rest of the, the facial. I was yeah. telling Anna, I didn't know that the darker the honey, the more nutrients was in there. Yes, so, yes. Mm -hmm. The darkest honey ever. I just got this in California. And so I was like, wow, I have to use this. But uh -huh. manure is also a great um, option if you don't have wildflower honey because it has a natural antibiotic in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love, I love. We, have, we actually have our own honeybees at our farm. And so uh -huh. now I'm like, okay, how do we get the honey even darker? Like, can I plant more flowers? What do I need to do? <laughs> Depends on what flowers they're, you know, pollinating. So I would be curious to l learn if there is a, you know, specific type of flower or, mm -hmm. type of, you know, 
altitude or year that um, the harvest needs to come from. So right. yeah, we can totally talk about that more. I'd love to learn. Right. Well, ladies, it's been a fabulous show. Thank you all so very much for being here with us today on the Flowers and Friends talk show. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Super fun. Super. I mean, we have, this was a great combo. I mean, mm -hmm. all the wellness we can get out of this show. I mean, it's incredible. It's a must see because we all need to pamper ourselves. And right. all the great <laughs> tips we've heard today are incredible, Kara. Yeah. This show keeps getting better and better and better. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. We keep learning everything new and new stuff. Anna, how about we tell everybody what's coming up on the show next week? You want to start? Oh, yes. we. It's going to be about weddings. Everyone's going to be so excited. We're going to have great guests. We're going to have a uh, picnic with me. She's going to show us, do a little demonstration about a mm -hmm. uh, picnic for when you're getting married, maybe like mm -hmm. a proposal picnic. She's still thinking about it, but it's going to be fun because she is incredible. Yes. And, and then, then uh -huh. oh, go ahead. we're going to have Carly Jean of Carly yeah. Jean's Floral. She has a really fun story that I can't wait for her to tell. She's really inspiring. And she is just going to talk to us about some wedding, maybe tips that you can use to save money, you know, in the wedding budget somewhere. <laughs> yes, you. it's a must see. Well, I think every show is a must, must see because there are so many topics and every show keeps getting, I mean, more interesting things we mm -hmm. didn't know things we haven't thought of. And mm -hmm. I just love that. I just love that. Can't wait to see what they tell us next week. Yes. We oh. just want to thank our sponsors for believing in us today. Here they are right here. And especially thank you to Schaefer Craft, um, Jenny Thomason's book today, Perishable Poetics. Thank you so very much. And uh, we have a little video that we want to play for you before we say goodbye. So please stick around. Here we go. We have built the world's first flower-focused streaming network bringing the public educational and entertaining shows that highlight the magic of flowers. Learn how to heal through flowers, cook with flowers, design your living space to reflect nature, make crafts using florals, sustainably garden, and so much more. We are your network for all things floral. Join us at Bloom TV as we help bring beauty to the lives of people and the planet through nature's most beautiful creation the flower. And before we go, we have to announce the big winner of our giveaway. The winner is going to get a set of the key flower rituals tea set and it's incredible a yearly subscription to bloom tv and a copy of the book perishable poetics by jenny thomason can you tell our viewers who the winner is kara all right drum roll oh Sabrina my god redemeyer you have won <laughs> this is exciting yay you're you're a lucky winner yes yes thank you so much uh, for being here today. This has been yet another great show, hasn't it? We're so excited. If you haven't signed up to our newsletter, be sure to do it so you will get reminders of the show and what we're talking about. And as always, we invite you and your friends to tune in to next week's show. Tell them why, Kara. Because everything is better with flowers and friends. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs>